Radio, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for December 3rd to December the 9th. And if you like this reading, as I ask you every single time, which you probably want to fast forward through if you want to, um, like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to start your reading right away for Leo. The first card you have for your past is the High Priestess. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Uh, so yeah, this is you kind of in the middle of a situation I'm seeing. I'm seeing opposing sides and you're kind of stuck in the middle. Uh, you could have been kind of sitting in the middle, maybe not literally, but sitting kind of in the middle of two people or two sides or something like that. Some of these people might have wanted you to kind of um, get into this fight or this argument or whatever this was. They might have wanted you to take sides. And, you know, they might have said, oh, listen to them, They're te listen to this, I want to tell you about them, they're terrible, they did this and that and this. And then the other side might have been trying to say, oh, this other side's bad, they did this and that. And you really just didn't want to get involved in this. Um, the High Priestess in this card, she's in between two poles, polar opposites, opposing views. So there are two sides with these opposing views. But the High Priestess is very, very wise. She doesn't get caught up in anyone's gossip or mess or anything like that. She's above anything. And she's even above, she's very spiritual, so she's even above things like politics that are really polar opposites, two opposing sides. She's above all of that. So if people start to say, oh, do you like this party or that one, or this one's terrible or whatever, she just rises above. She says, I'm not involved in that. I'm above that. I'm a spiritual person. And, you know, I'm, I'm above all of that kind of thing. So... Yeah, you, you weren't involved in all of this. And I think you knew that if you got involved in this, it might backfire at some time. You know, the other side might dislike you and they might do something or other, or they might, or the side that you took might keep on feeding you more gossip and you just didn't want to hear any of this. So, yeah, you were very wise. So I'm seeing, um, I'm actually seeing there might have been um, a married couple in the middle of this or something like that. I'm seeing a married couple and I'm seeing uh, two people, and I'm seeing a family around these two people. I hope that makes sense. So this might be, or it might have been a family drama around a married couple. I don't know whether the married couple were um, fighting and there were sides around that, or whether there was some kind of um, fighting against the married couple or some kind of disagreement. Now, I think you, I think you really did actually have an opinion on who was right, who was wrong, what you thought and what you didn't think and all of that kind of thing. But I think you didn't reveal that. You kept that to yourself um, because the High Priestess can also be about secrets. And I think, not that you were keeping a secret, but I just think you just didn't want to reveal what you thought because you just didn't want to get into this whole thing. And um, I think, you know, if this is what was happening, is if this is resonating with you, you are definitely very, very wise to keep your opinions to yourself, um, both for you and for everyone else. Because I think any more fuel that came into this, any more talk about this, it was just adding to the drama and making it bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think, you know, minimizing it was the best thing and, you know, trying to kind of rise above it and kind of get through this. Um, peace was the best thing, I think. Um, yeah, so the next card you have for your past is uh, the Two of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, obviously this is about juggling, ups and downs. And I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing, um, yeah, this is actually quite sad. I'm actually seeing some hurt feelings. I'm seeing up and down feelings. So ups and downs, ups and downs. Your feelings were up and down at this time. I think, yeah, this was really difficult for you. And I think you were going through a lot of up and down feelings. I think you might have actually either left someone or you might have broken up with someone. I'm not sure when that was, but um, you were still kind of going through a lot of difficult feelings in the aftermath of that, after that breakup or whatever that was. And, um, you know, I think you knew this person wasn't right for you. It wasn't like you were thinking, I want them back. But your feelings might have been telling you, oh, I, I'm just really lonely. I just really miss having them to talk to about this thing or that thing. And I just really miss seeing them. And I just really miss getting up in the morning and knowing that they're going to be there for me. All of that kind of thing. You know, I think you're just going through these ups and downs. And, you know, sometimes you... Um, you know, I think sometimes you were thinking, I'm fine. I don't care about them. I'm fine. Everything's fine. And you felt fine. 
and then the next minute you'd be down again and you'd be thinking about um, something they said or did or something about anything about them, could be anything and um, then that would set you back down again. So it's this kind of ups and downs, up and downs that I'm seeing. Obviously with this two of pentacles, he's kind of juggling up and down. And I think this could be another reason why as well, another reason why you didn't want to get involved in this kind of drama, this family drama. Uh, you, were, you had your own issues to get over. You had your own feelings to try and get over. You're really trying to get your feelings under control. And, you know, I think you definitely made up your mind that you didn't want this person back. Um, you were on this kind of roller coaster going up and down with your feelings and you really wanted to get off that. You wanted to get to a place of peace. You wanted to stop that. But I think um, that just takes time. I mean, your feelings after a while do get back into balance, but I think it just takes time um, to get through that. And um, yeah, you're trying to manage your feelings and um, try not to fall over. This poor man looks like he's about to fall over, so you didn't want that to happen. So you're trying to keep everything up in the air, trying to get over your um, up and down feelings and managing all of your general life as well. So you had a lot of balls in the air, you had to manage a lot. I think this person might have actually tried to, or they wanted to come back at some time, they wanted to revisit things at some time. But I think you might have been very careful not to engage with this person. I don't know if you blocked them, but I think that you just knew that you're a, you're a very fragile, you're a very vulnerable at this time. And um, if you heard their voice, if you saw a text, I think you might have thought that you would have been tempted to go back and you decided to just ignore it and not do that. And you might have felt out of control, you might have felt as if you weren't managing things well, but you were. You were managing things extremely well under these circumstances because I'm not seeing that you did engage with them, you just kind of kept away from all of that. And anyone else would have heard that message, seen you know anything from their, their acts, and they would have gone right back again. And you didn't do that. You did very, very, very well. You managed things very well. You were more under control than you thought you were. So you really need to congratulate yourself if this resonates with you. Um, the last card you have for your past is the Knight of Cups. So I'm seeing in this card, you know, I'm seeing, you know, this knight's coming along, he's very good looking, he's um, very well groomed and he's wonderful. He's coming and he's offering his cup and he's saying, here I am, I want to come back again, I want to offer myself to you again, here I am. And I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing more of the same, the words more of the same, more of the same. So you might be thinking that, you know, I think when they did come back and you might have heard that ping on the message text coming through, or you might have heard the message, whatever. And I think you just might have said to yourself, you know, this is more of the same. This is more of the same. They're just going to say the same. They're going to say the same excuses. They're going to do the same things. They're going to say all the same kind of stuff I've heard before a million times. I don't want to hear it again. It's going to set me back emotionally and I don't need that. It's going to hurt me again. And what do they have to say? What do they have to say that's going to change my mind? Nothing, nothing. And you know, you really, you just really didn't want to hear what they had to say. You didn't want to hurt yourself and you just didn't want to hear more of the same. I keep on seeing that, more of the same. So, um, you know, this is a knight in shining armor. Sometimes knight, knights in shining armor are, are amazing if they're real but quite often, more often than not, they're like Disney fantasies. And um, this person wasn't going to offer you anything real. They were going to offer you more of the same, more of the same talk, more of the same excuses, maybe more of the same lies, I don't know, but you just didn't want to go back to more of the same. That's what I'm seeing in that card. The first card you have for your present is the world. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of deja vu here because I think you might have had similar things happening in your last reading. I think you're coming out of a bad situation or maybe you're thinking about coming out of this situation that I'm seeing here in the High Priestess or the Two of Pentacles or whatever it was, Two of Pentacles. And um, you're kind of just thinking about coming out of that and you knew that you had good things in your future and you wanted to kind of step off the old thing and into the new 
and I think now at this time you're kind of ready to do that and that's what you're actually doing. You're kind of off this roller coaster now, this kind of up and down and you're stepping into the new. Now you're still, you're a lot freer, you still have these feelings, you still have these heart feelings, you still have a few of these up and downs but they're gradually fading, very, very gradually. It's like, you know, physical hurt. If you have an operation, you know, it takes time to heal from that operation. And, you know, it really hurts in the beginning, but gradually it, you know, it gets less and less hurtful and it fades away eventually and it disappears after a while. So this is what you're going to now, going through now. Like, you know, you have the world in front of you. You know you're free of this, but you're still in this kind of... Um, waiting time. It's like you're having this feeling that you don't want to go back to your old life or how you were before you met this person and you don't want to be the same as when you were with this person either. You want to go on to something new but you're kind of not quite ready for that either and I think this might just be a bit of an adjustment period for you. You might just be in the middle adjusting, getting yourself back into some kind of order before you're ready to move on and do these big changes because the world is about great big changes that are ahead of you, really big um, life changes and I think there are some big changes coming to you especially around career, business, I'm seeing learning along with this, I'm seeing you might even eventually at the end of all of this you might get some kind of certificate or award so there are a lot of really really positive things coming for you but I think you're not quite ready to leap into all of that yet at this time. I think you're just doing that. And I think what's happening is you're just steering yourself into the right direction, but you're not quite at the starting line yet. It's like, you know, when I say steering, I, it makes me think of a big, great big ship. If you think of a great big enormous cruise ship or something like that, and when the captain, if the captain decides to turn the ship right around in the opposite direction to where it is, he can steer it, but sometimes, these ships are so huge, it can take several days for it to get back in the right track, back in the right place that it wants it to go. And that's what's happening with you. You're steering yourself in the right direction, preparing yourself so that you're ready for these great big changes, but you're not quite ready. You're still guiding yourself into the right direction so that you will be ready. That's what I'm seeing now in the world card for you. So. The next card you have for your present is the Three of Wands. So yes, again, you're looking at what's out there, like this man. You're thinking about what's out there. You're thinking about where you'd like to be, but you're not quite ready to jump off. He's not going to jump off this cliff, this man. He's not going to jump into the water. He's just looking at it, and he's just thinking about it. He's quite peaceful, he's okay, but he's just thinking, mm, I'm not quite ready to kind of make the leap. I'm still thinking about what I need to do. And I think you know at this time, you know that there are these great opportunities in front of you. I think you know what they are. And you know, they're golden opportunities. This is a golden sea and this is a golden sky here in front of you. And um, there's also a bit of cautiousness around this. It's, you know, being on the edge of change can be a bit scary sometimes, especially if you're not exactly sure what these changes are going to be. So, you know, just take your time. Don't put pressure on yourself. I'm not seeing any time limits around this, you know, I think you might have the luxury of time and you're able to kind of sit and think about all of this properly. You know, I, I am seeing job opportunities, I'm seeing career, I'm seeing, you know, business, all sorts of money kind of related opportunities here, but um, you still have your job, you still have everything else or whatever this is, the situation you're in now. You can still go along with that and just take your time. It's not like you have to leap into anything right now. The other thing I'm seeing here is someone who might need your support at this time. This is someone who, they might be going through, going through a few um, emotional problems, maybe relationship problems. And um, you're in a good position to help them, actually, because I think you might have been through a lot of what they're experiencing at this time. Obviously, not exactly the same thing, um, because, I mean, no two situations are the same and no two people are the same. But I think you might have felt a lot of the feelings that they're feeling right now. So you're in a really good position to help them, to kind of guide them through what they're going through. And um, But this person might actually be giving you um, some some vibes or some ideas or some energy that, um, that doesn't even make sense, they might be giving you the impression, that's a better word, they might be giving you the impression that um, they don't want people around them and they might be giving other people this impression too because I'm seeing them kind of um, 
being a little bit like the hermit. They don't want other people around them at this time. Now I think someone's drilling. Can you believe it? Okay, you just have to ignore that. I'll, I'm going to have to try and ignore this. Um, I can't believe it. Oh, please stop. Yeah, it's probably going to stop and start again. Yes. Um, so I'm really, really sorry about this. I want to try and get through this. I don't want to stop and have to do a whole new reading. Um, yeah, so this person, yeah, they might be thinking that I don't want anyone around me right now. I'm going through all these emotional problems. I don't want anyone near me. But I think that actually they do need someone around them and they need someone to lean on because I'm looking at this card, this three of wands, and this man is leaning on this wand. So they do need someone to lean on. They really do. So it might be that, um, and you're the perfect person to talk to them. That's what I was seeing. Yeah, that's, I'm just getting my head back again into what I was seeing, what I was thinking. Um, so I think, you know, if this resonates with you and, and you know who this person might be, just reach out to them in a way that might not put any pressure on them. I mean, don't talk to them and say, oh, I know you need to talk to me. That might threaten them and they might feel a bit, um, it might put them back even further into their shell. So um, just be kind of non-threatening. Just say to them, you know, um, you know, just say, you know, I'm here when you need me. Just call me back, you know, when you need me. I don't want to put any pressure on you. But, you know, if you want to talk to anyone, I've been through a lot of things and I won't judge you. Just know that. And I'm here when you need me. Just something like that. Because I'm seeing that they will probably reach out to you after a while. And I am seeing you, this is really nice actually, because I'm seeing you helping them through things. So I think they will get back to you and I think you will eventually help them through all of these things. And I think this person is going to help you as well, because I think you're just going to sit and talk and chat and you're going to probably unpack a lot of what's in your mind. It's, you're going to let it out there on this person. They're going to let themselves out or let the feelings out onto you as well. And you're helping each other and you're going to help them to move forward. And also they're going to help you to move forward as well when they do eventually come back and talk to you. I'm seeing that they will. I'm seeing that they will. Because I'm also seeing the next card that you have, which is the Six of Cups. So this is about really positivity, really positive reunions or getting together with someone. So again, this is about this person who you're talking to. You're helping them. They're helping you. It's like a mutual exchange where you're giving each other really lovely, warm feelings and you're helping each other. And, um, you know, I think... There are, I mean, it's not all going to be fantastic talk. Of course, you're talking about your bad experiences and you're kind of helping each other. So there are going to be painful things that you're going to be talking about, of course, but you're both going to be bringing each other a lot of really, really good positive support and a lot of really nice comfort. And I think, you know, you're going to keep in touch quite a lot after this and you're going to be able to rely on this person as well in the future. And they're going to be able to rely on you as well. That's what I'm seeing there. Hopefully, I am not going to hear any more from this lovely drill. The first card you have for your future is the King of Swords. Okay, I need to focus on this, not on the drill. So, yes, this king. Yeah, when I see this, okay, when I see this king's face, I always see a man who's a bit older. Now, I don't see someone who's physically strong in this King of Swords. You know, if I look at the Emperor, or I, if I look at, you know, the King of Wands, I see someone who's physically strong, um, but not the King of Swords. I think he's an older man, and I think he's wiser. I see him as looking a little bit older, a little bit tired. He might be a bit stooped over. That's how I see him. Older, wiser, learned from a lot of things. He's been through a lot of kind of not so good things and he's really learnt from all of those things. And, um, you know, he's learned from everything he's been through and um, he's also ready to cut out any rubbish that comes along. He's got his sword in front of him. So this could be a message to, I think, uh, and I think this might be a warning, actually. I think this person in the Knight of Cups, this ex, might actually come back to talk to you again. Um, they might try and connect with you again. This person tries. They keep trying. That's what I can say about them. Um, and yeah, this is what I'm seeing. You're weary. You're tired like this king. By the time this person comes back to you, you're going to be like, I've been through all of this with this person. 
my shoulders are hunched over, I'm very tired, I'm older, I'm wiser, I have my sword up, and I'm not going to deal with any rubbish. So I think this person might come to talk to you, you might actually talk to them, and I think this person might come back and they might start to talk about feelings, emotions, all of that kind of thing. Now this king's not about emotions, he's about facts, he's about logic, he doesn't deal with emotions. He's very kind, but he doesn't go on about all of that emotional stuff. So I think this person might come back, they might come back and they might say, oh, I really regret what I did. I love you so much. I have all these feelings. Don't you feel all those feelings? Do you really feel nothing for me after all this time? And I missed you so much. And he, he might, or he or she, or whoever this is, might say all of this to you. Try and steer the conversation back to fact if you do have a conversation. I mean, he has his sword up, so you might want to cut them off altogether, which might be a good idea. But if you do have a conversation, guide it back to fact. Say, well, it's all very well to feel like that, but you know, uh, you lied on this date and you did that on that time and you did this on this day and all this kind of thing. And that's why I don't have these feelings and I don't want any more of this. So you might just be non-emotional, be factual, and that's what you need to do because I think, you know, this person's going to come and they're going to talk. And this sounds harsh, I know, but it isn't. It isn't because they're going to come and talk. They're going to put, talk about feelings. Oh, let's talk about our feelings. But, you know, if these feelings aren't backed up by speaking properly or behaving properly or, you know, caring for you properly, it's just talk. It needs to be backed up by something. So I don't want to tell you what to do, obviously. But I am seeing this as a warning. I'm seeing this as a warning. So, and I, I get the feeling that I don't think you're going to listen to this person because look at how tired this king is. He's like, I'm, I'm weary of this now. I've had enough of this now. I'm tired of this now. That's what I'm getting in the King of Swords. So the next card you have for your future is judgment. So yes, judge wisely. Judge the situation wisely. Judge this person wisely with clarity, with clear eyes, with a clear head. That's what the King of uh, Swords is about as well. He's about clarity, clear head. And um, this card can be about moving forward as well. It can be about accepting what's happened in your past, coming to peace with it and moving forward. So um, yeah, again, I'm seeing this person um, might be coming back into your life as a reminder, as a reminder of what to move on from to get some peace with whatever's happened in your past, move over it, move forward from that, and leave it behind. Let this go, and let it go totally, and then move on into your future. Um, you know, accept what's happened, but don't bring any of the old stuff into your new life. That's what I'm seeing here. And, you know, I'm seeing that, you know, the world card was the start of this process that you were going through, this progress. And now I think in the judgment card, you're kind of further along in this process, but you're still in this process and you're going along it. And I think what I'm seeing in the King of Swords is, you know, really, really positive for you, not taking any nonsense. This is a really good marking point along this journey for you. It's really, really positive. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Keep on going down this path. It's the right path. Oh, sorry. I just breathed in really quickly and it made me cough. Oh, I hope I don't cough. The last card you have for your future is yes. I don't need to say anything else. You know what this is about. Um, I'm not saying this person's the devil. I'm not saying that. But this is how much of a reminder do you want? Look at this. Um, this is the biggest, clearest, ugliest, horrible warning you could get about this person. Don't let them back in. I'm not saying that the devil. But what I'm saying is if you go back, even if you start talking about your feelings, you start getting back into that again, don't be chained back to an old situation like these two people or you are chained to this devil. The devil might not be about a person, so cross-watchers don't be angry. It might not be about a person, it might be an old situation. Do not be chained to your past. Move forward. If you, know, if you want to, I, I wouldn't even get into a conversation with this person. 
Stay off the crazy roller coaster. Stay unchained to this old situation. Move forward. You know, what do you want? Do you want to be in the world card like this beautiful woman who's naked, who's floating around the sky, so free and amazing? Or do you want to be chained to this devil? Now, I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying this person is the devil, but the old situation is the devil for you because it had you up and down like the two of pentacles. It was horrible for your emotions. It was horrible. It sent you around and around. Don't go through that again. You've had three clear warnings in your future telling you not to take this person back or to engage with them. So Leo, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you liked this reading, cross watchers probably do not, please like or subscribe. Or if you're a cross watcher, you can leave a negative, you can leave a bad, um, you can leave a dislike. Uh, yeah, leave a comment if you'd like to as well, anyone. Thank you so, so much for watching.